When you have your internet set up and running, one of the first things you should do is create an email account. You may not actually use it to send emails often, but most businesses and government agencies do business by email. As well, you need an email address to sign up for almost anything else online, like websites, apps, or social networks. There are lots of ways to get email. Your paid internet service may come with a free email account, but you can also use free email services like Outlook or Gmail. You can also have more than one email address. For example, you can have one just for friends and family and another for business. Let's look at how to set up a Gmail account. To set up a Gmail account, go to gmail.com and choose Create Account. You'll need to give your first name and last name and then select a username. Because free email services are so popular, you may need to use something different than your name for your username. It doesn't really matter what it is so long as you can remember it and you're not likely to misspell it. You can use numbers as well as letters in your email address to make it easier to find a unique one. Next, you have to choose a password. It's important to pick a strong password for your email account because it's the key to all of your other accounts. Watch our video, Keeping Your Devices and Accounts Safe, Pins and Passwords, to find out how to make a good one. You can always go back and change your password later. Now you'll be asked to give some more information about yourself. The only thing you have to give is your age. If you provide your cell phone number, it gives you a way to get back into your email account if you forget your password and get locked out. Like your password, you can change or add this information later. If you don't want to say if you're male or female, select Rather Not Say for that option. After this, you're shown the terms and conditions. You have to agree to these to use the service, but you do have some control. If you select more options, you can choose not to have Google save your web activity, not to use what it knows about you to personalize ads, and not to save your YouTube viewing history as Google owns YouTube. You can change all of this later too. Select I agree when you're done, and now you have an email account that you can access by going to gmail.com. For more information on online basics, check out the other videos in the series. Visit our website at telus.com slash wiseonlinebasics.